Right. I've uh, I just bought the bobcat because I just wanted to give it a run and do a few jobs on it. I just went over a bump on the way in and uh, something's, something burst and it's dumped the entire contents of the water coolant tank onto the floor. And I, I found this Jubilee clip at the bottom and I think one of the coolant hoses has come off or broken. I think I've just found it. And it's, uh, I don't know if you can see that. Can you see it? I can't see it, it's really sunny today. It's there, there. Anyway, it's come off, I've got a prat about getting it back on. steel clip and I've replaced that one as well which looks a bit iffy. Fill it up with water now. Hose doesn't reach so I'm having to just sort of make do. Taking quite a while to get that sorted. Um, so I'm going to get the get the boat prepped for diving. Tanks to go in, and everything needs to go in. I just need to make sure that everything's right now. I want to be diving next week. It's really warm as that air squished into it. Right, so that goes up in there like that, connects to the, the jacket like this. So I think I'm ready. Uh, I've just got to put the scrubber in, which goes uh, there in front of the life jacket. Everything else is done there at the back and we're all good to go at the bow. So I just need to top up the motors, which I'll do the day before, and also charge, everything is, I am charged, but I just give it a final top up just before I go. So I'm hoping to, to go next week now. Right, what I'm gonna do now is a, is a, is a pressure test. This is the final, the final test for diving. I keep saying that. Um, so I'm gonna take the snorkel off. I'll take that off, put this on, in fact I ought to put a bit of tape on that. Now I'm going to put the uh, O-ring and clamp hat shot. Now I've remembered to open the snorkel valve on the inside. The two vents for the battery pods are open, which I want. So I want to test the pods as well. Right, 
So I've zeroed out the, the two gauges. It's a bit difficult to see with the light or whatever through the window. Uh, but you can see that the, um, the PSI gauge there is at zero and the, and the normal barometer is, is at, actually at, uh, um, 1,050 millibars. It's actually a really, really high pressure today. Uh, anyway, that's besides the point. So I've zeroed that out. You can see that with the white uh, blob. So I'm going to drop the pressure in the boat now. Right, this really isn't a very, it's not very sophisticated, this, I'm afraid. But I'm going to suck the air out and close the belt, close the, the valve. So. And I've remembered to open the valve on the inside. And assuming we've got no leaks, the pressure should remain stable. So I'm going to just go a couple more. It's a bit, it's getting hard now. I, mean, I could probably rig up some sort of pump or something. It's just not worth it. Just do it like this. for a check. Blimey. I've dropped, it looks like I've dropped one quarter of a PSI of pressure. And the barometer is on, it's actually stopped on the little red blob, like my secondary marker. So we'll, we'll leave it at that. And I'm just gonna wait now. In fact, I'm just gonna leave it like this overnight. But I mean, it isn't, it doesn't look like it's moving. So there's no obviously large leak, but it could, there could be just a slight tiny tickle, but it does look like the boat is tight.